Hi guys, welcome back to another planner video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I create this insert. It is my daily routine. I use this as a marker for the current week and I basically just use it as a reference to remind me of things that I want to complete every day. Here's a closer look of what I have. I'm going to be making a new one, so let's get started. I use Microsoft Word to create this. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. The first thing I'm going to do is change the layout of the page to A5. You can print directly on A5 paper. Um, I'm going to use just regular letter size paper, but Having the layout set to A5 gives me a better view of what it's going to look like when I cut the page. I'm going to set the margins to 0.5 and then I'm going to select um, two columns. And I'm doing two columns because I'm going to cut this page in half and I don't want to type too far into the page. Now I'm just typing everything out. I am typing my morning routine, my daily routine for work, and then my evening routine as well. Now that I'm done typing my routine out, I'm going to zoom back out so I can see the whole page and then I'm going to change the font. I have a couple fonts downloaded from thefont.com, they're all free um, and I'm just going to play around and see which one I like the best. After picking out a font, I'm going to play around with the sizes. Now I'm just adjusting the margins to make sure everything is centered and that I have enough room there on the left to punch holes. Once I'm happy with the way everything looks, I'm going to go ahead and print. Um, the paper I'm using is cardstock paper. I bought this on Amazon. Here's what it turned out looking like. I wasn't happy with the font size, so I changed it and printed again, and then now I'm going to cut it. I just pulled out some inserts from my planner to use it as a guide. I want to make sure that there's going to be enough room to punch holes, and I also want to make sure that when I cut it in half, it's going to meet where that middle line is. The cutting board that I'm using is a Fiskars brand. It's not the best, um, but it does the job 
and I got mine at Target. I believe you can also get it on Amazon. Here I'm just going to mark where I need to cut. I'm going to follow this middle line. Now I'm just going to punch the holes. If you have a six hole puncher, that's great. I don't have one yet, so I'm just going to use my single hole punch and I'm going to follow the insert that I already have. Here's what it looks like in my planner. I love the way it looks with my weekly inserts from cloth and paper. And then I just decided to highlight the headers. That's it for this little tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other requests, please leave them in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, turn on your post notifications, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.